Hi, thanks for joining me today. Today we're looking at something what's a big concern in. It's the rainfall and, or lack of rainfall and evaporation. This information has been recorded from my very own Davis weather station here in Norton Keynes in the county of Staffordshire. So let's have a look for the month of June, July, August. Then we'll have a quick look at what we can expect over the next four weeks or so. And then we'll have a chat about what we've just looked at. Right, let's have a look at the graphs then. This data has been recorded from my Davis weather station. So we're looking at the 1st of June and I've set up, I wanted to see temperatures, the high temperature. Blue is rain and green is evaporation. So you can see the red line here moved up, started off around about 22 degrees and dipped a bit. And we've managed to get up to 30 degrees in June for a couple of days. But what's concerning when we look at this is the uh, rainfall. You can see the blue lines. We've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven days when I've recorded any type of rain. There's only been a two or three days when it's reasonable amount of rain, twelve and a half millimeters, ten millimeters, and seven and a half millimeters, all the rest. Some of it's below one millimetre of rain. But look at the green evaporation each day. We start off at around three millimetres evaporating each day. It goes up to over five at one or two points when the temperature starts to really rise. So that's what's concerning when you look at the amount of evaporation we're having compared with the amount of rainfall. Let's have a look at July. July, we started off with temperatures of nearly 32 degrees, it dips down to 20s, back up to above 30, 32 degrees again, and then it's hovering around the 22 to 25 degree mark. Again, very little rainfall. 11 days again when we've seen any rain, but there's only been a couple of occasions when we've approached five millimetres of rain and the most, most rain we've seen about 13 there. Again, evaporation mainly around the five millimetres a day, uh, one or two little dips when it's been a bit cooler. And if we look up, we've had over five millimetres a day when the temperature really got up to 32 degrees. And this trend of losing round about three to five millimetres a day continued through the month of July. August, we can forget this bit here from the 13th because we haven't reached that date yet. First to the 12th of August, temperatures you can see around about 22 to start off with. Yesterday when I recorded 27 and a half degrees. So again, we've had one, two, three, four days when I've recorded any rainfall, but there's nothing significant there. Two and a half millimetres looks like about the most. Oh, we've got a three millimetre there. Uh, but very low rainfall, and the evaporation is around about three to four millimetres evaporation a day. Let's have a look what we can expect from the charts from the ECMWF for the next uh, three weeks. ECMWF are expecting very dry conditions for this date, uh, 11th of August to the 18th, well below average rainfall. Northwest Scotland, <laughs> even less rainfall there. 18th of August to the 25th. From the Midlands downwards, it looks like rainfall is around average, so we might see one or two showers, but overall it's dry. Northwest coast of England, and Scotland is still looking very dry. August the 25th to the 1st of September. It looks like the complete UK is around average rainfall. So average rainfall isn't a great deal to talk about for the end of August. So a lot of dry weather still to come. I do hope you found that interesting with the data from my Davis weather station. If you did, do let me know and I can always bring you more information on uh, what my weather station has recorded. A bit concerning really when you look at the amount of rainfall we've had and how much gets evaporated, just normal loss. 
All these new homes we're building and no new reservoirs. It's been 30 years since we built the last reservoir. Not surprised we're running out of water besides the lack of rain we've been having as well. If you've enjoyed it, do give me the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, dong all the bells if you haven't before. I would appreciate that. And do leave me a comment below on what you think of this summer so far. Till we meet again, look after yourselves and those you love. And do have a look at these two videos up here. Be a fan. Bye for now.